Hi folks, today we're dealing with light. So what I have here is retro reflective material. I've mentioned it before a little bit, but I really wanted to give you guys a closer look. So one of the cool things about light is that it can be refracted or bent. It's how binoculars work, can eyeglasses work, and scopes, and even cameras, like the one you're uh, looking through. One of the simplest ways you can think of to refract light is actually with a droplet of water. And if I just keep adding it, the font will get bigger and bigger. It's not very efficient, but it does refract the light through the droplet of water and kind of magnify it for you. Another way to bend light to refract it is to use glass, especially when it's properly cut, to refract at the focal length that you want. You can see it's bending and twisting the light and even magnifying it for the camera. You can even get a picture. So first I want to show you um, the lamp on the ceiling above you, or above me. And you can first see it actually in the glass itself. There's a couple images there. At the right focal length, it'll be sharp. But you also can transfer the image down onto paper. And this being at an angle, you're getting kind of refractive angles instead of the actual picture, which would have to be in line with the light source. It's tough to do. One way to do this um, involves white paint and sprinkled over it, hundreds if not thousands of little glass beads. And each of them would act like a little lens, refracting light usually with a coating behind it, trap the light from going in any other direction. And these would essentially um, throw light back at multiple times the intensity than it came in. This is Scotch Light, a 3M product. Pretty cool. Um, the glass is actually bonded to the surface on the outside as well. I'll give you a closer view of what this looks like without the reflection. But a lot of this was used um, in Star Wars, which is one of the reasons I stumbled upon it. You've got tape, a piece of tape, and actually a uh, cloth that you'd sew on or press on material. Um, I glued it to this. It was one of the ways that we think um, they bonded Scotch light to lightsaber blades. There's also now a more modern version called Prismatic Retro Reflective Tape. I'll give you a closer look at this too, but that's what I've been coating these with which the color is excellent. Not that durable though, as you'll see on round surfaces, it likes to peel off. All right, so I want to do this by hand. The closer you get, the easier it is to pick out the prisms and the glass beads. I've got a sample here of Reflexite, um, some 3M products, and actually some Chinese fabric um, you can get online as well. And all of them, you can see this grainy texture. There's the vinyl right there. It's all glossy compared to the fabric. 3M adhesives, the Chinese fabric, and this is Reflexite, which doesn't really do a whole lot up close, but when you zoom out, it really starts to show its color. This stuff does better with a quick really intense flash. So I'll, I'll, I'll uh, post up right now a, uh, a picture of it in full, uh, full flash. You might even notice a black stripe on some of these blades. That was for that spinning blade effect that they tried for a little while, but the rest of the blade is coated. Woo, look at that. These cameras are pretty smart. They like to refocus because they think that's what you want. We want this light to blow out the camera. There we go. Now there's newer stuff um, called graphic film. It's what's all over this. You might see it in the side of uh, ambulances or cars and things like that. It's very durable vinyl. It's meant for like heavier applications. A lot of the blades you'll see behind the scenes are kind of off-white because they gave up using reflective stuff. Um, so this gives you the best of both worlds. There's a reflective coating um, and it's kind of that off-white 
uh, look that you'll see in a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed playing around with some light and chatting about refractivity. Wow, that's bright. Let me take you guys. Water plays a role in light. It's kind of fun. And, and so does glass. Don't worry. This is salt.